Hey YouTube, Sam here. Welcome to another review. This time we're going to be doing a cheapy. It's an exclusive as well because people, no one's done it on YouTube yet. Um, but it is a cheapy today. And we're going to be tackling the house of Axis, who are basically a cheap perfume company. Um, with uh, probably one of their best efforts, really, called Axis Sand. As you can see, I've used a heck of a lot of this. Heck of a lot. Um, I really have used this heavily. I've had this for about a year now. And that's nearly halfway through. This is a 100 milliliter bottle, um, but this is Axis Sand. As you can see, it's got a nice. The bottle itself has got quite a nice little bubbles at the bottom, like glass bubbles. Um, and obviously, it gets darker towards the bottom of the bottle, so it's a nice bottle, really, on the whole. Yeah, Axis Sand. So when did it come out? It came out in 2012. So it's been out for a year now. Um, interestingly, though, it has been out for a year, though. Um, it is discontinued in a lot of places now. Uh, I think it's because they're not selling much of it. They don't sell much Axis, so they take taking them off stock. Um, you can buy it online though, and some of the discounted retailers will have this because it is a cheapy, as I said before. So, what do we get from the top and to the bottom of the fragrance? Well, this fragrance lasts about seven to ten hours on the skin. At the start, you're gonna get a blast of apple, like a green apple. If you've had like a really bright green apple, bit into it, and it had that sort of that fresh appley smell, you're gonna get that at the start of the fragrance. That apple is scent, um, and it's just a bit, a bit, a big fruity start. So bergamot and apple, which is basically green, green fruits. From about one hour to about an hour and a bit, you're gonna get them green fruits. Then the mid. Um, you're looking at lavender and orange blossom. It's the sort of orange blossom you find in um, Fleur du Mal uh, by Jean Paul Gaultier. It is that sort of uh, feminine um, orange blossom. This is a different type of blossom though. It is synthetic. It is not natural smelling, but you can, can smell the orange in this. That's why it's got an orange you know, bottle, because that's the main note in this, orange blossom. That's the main accord really. Um, from about an hour to about five hours, you get the orange and the apple mixing together. Um, and at the bottom, the base of the fragrance, in the last few hours, uh, it's ambergris and vetiver, which is like a clean ending to a fragrance, which is very fruity. It's classed as a fruity um, Sega fragrance, so it is a good one, really. Interesting though, so overall, it's a fruity blast of a scent. That's what it is. So, it lasts a good 10 hours, which for a cheap, cheap it is amazing. Uh, the price point on this is good. Well, amazing, should I say. Uh, you can pick this up for about a tenner. So, for a tenner for 100 mils, you know, that's one pound for 10 millilitres. That's awesome. So you can't really argue with that at all. That is awesome. Gotta respect that. Um, the smell of it, it lasts so long, the smell. It projects for about three to five hours, which is awesome for a cheap scent. I mean, even even the top scents don't even project for three to five hours sometimes. It can take a while for it to really project and people to smell it. With this though, it's still going after four or five hours. So you gotta appreciate that. So why would you hate this? Why would you hate it? Well, it is hard to get hold of these sort of scents. They are tough to go by. Um, a lot of companies will not stock this because they will not sell much of this in their store. Unless someone comes to ask for this, they will not push it. They'll push the ones like Black Excess, um, Yo Palm, One Million. They'll push them. They won't push this. So they may not sell many of them, so they might not stock it. But if you look around, chances are people will have this in stock in some areas, in the discount retailers. So it's hard to get hold of, so you might have to go make an effort to really look around for it. So that's why you not like it. Uh, another reason why you might not like it is it is synthetic. It's probably one of the most synthetic fragrances I've got in my collection. Um, yeah, it's, it's like you've got... When I say synthetic, I mean it's not natural smelling. It is not... Um, when I say orange smell, it doesn't smell like an orange. It doesn't smell like that. No, it doesn't smell like an actual orange. It doesn't even smell like if you peel this open and then you get that smell of orange, it isn't like that. It's just not. It's like someone's made that orange from unnatural properties. 
that's what it smells like. It it's not let's think. Um if you smell orange spice by Creed, that smells like oranges. That actually does smell like orange. This one smells like a synthetic orange. If you understand what that means, it's not natural, but it's still orange. Um, that makes sense. So if you like your natural smells, you might not like this very much. Why would you love it? Well, the price point. The price point's sensational. Nothing short of sensational, the price. Uh, if you can get it, I got mine for five pound. Five pound for this is, is, is incredible. I mean, you're looking at spending 30 to 180, 200 pound on a fragrance, but this is for everyone because it's five to 10 pound. However, think however much you think fragrances should be cheap, this should be in your collection because if you can get it, it's five to ten pound. It's not a lot. That's about two coffees and a tea. That's pretty much it. Why do you say no to that? Why really? Um, secondly, the notes are good. The notes are uh, it's, it's that fresh, aromatic scent that you get from it. Really, it's the notes themselves do complement each other quite well. It is obviously predominantly orange based, so it is interesting because you can wear this pretty much any time of the year. Winter, I wouldn't say much really, but throughout the warmer months, you can wear this. Just do a bit, a bit slower on the spray. Maybe just one to the neck and two to the wrists. That'll be it really. Uh, so it is, as a scent, you've got to appreciate the notes and you've got to appreciate how it lasts. The performance this thing is, Unbelievable for what you're actually paying. You're unbelievable. You're looking at about five to ten pound, and the performance is about ten hours. So you can wear it at the start of the day, nine o'clock. It'll still be there at five, six o'clock. So you just can't go wrong with that at all. There is nothing you can say which is a negative feedback on the performance. It's just not. The only way you might like it is literally because it is not the most natural. It's not a Creed natural, it's not Amouage, it is just unnatural. But you gotta like it because the price is incredible. As you can see there are more reasons to love than hate. Um, just one thing to touch on really with this one is the discontinued vibe. Um, people have, obviously it has been out for a year so it hasn't been out for very long, but already have been to retailers and they ha do not stock it because when I've asked them why they just said we just don't sell it so I mean where, where I got mine from they said they don't sell it then I said can I order it in and they said yeah you can so they ordered it in for me and I got it just because it was so cheap and I heard some good things about it in the sense that it's fruity and needed a fruity scent to add to my collection so yeah, is, it, is it discontinued no, it's not. It is still available in the right area. If you look for the right area, it is still there. So do give it a smell. Do give it, don't look over it just because it's cheap. Because this is quality in a cheap scent. Really is quality. So overall, a high performing scent, loved by many. Um, people, the compliments people have been giving me on this one have been all positive. There has been one negative. It's all in positive. I think it's because the dry down is a lot less harsh than the opening. So people smell the dry down, people smell the orange accord, and people like the smell of it. So, yeah, people like it, on the whole. So you've got to love that, really, because something that people are going to like, you're probably going to wear a bit more. That's why people often wear fragrances. If someone likes it, they're probably going to wear it again. And that's the same That's the same thing with this one, you see. So overall, a cheapie, a good cheapie. It's not natural, but it is a cheap hit and it is useful to have in your collection just to spray on when you haven't got much else to use. So it's a, it is a good one uh, overall. So you, you've got to appreciate that. And the bottle, as you can see, I've used a heck of a lot of it, mainly because when I go to sleep, I just think I want to smell good. Spray it on. It's cheap. You can do it. Got to appreciate it, guys. Got to love it, really. So that's my take on this. Very interesting, very cheap, very well before uh, good performance sense if you've got any questions give us a message give us a comment i'll get back to you straight away i uh, can always advise you on what's right where to get it where to get this from if you like it if you like the sound of it i can help you out with that easily um so any more questions give us a shout thanks for watching again have an awesome day youtube see you in a bit